It was named after its town of origin and its founder, the Dursley Pedersen Bicycle. Mikhail Pedersen got a frame patent for the English brand in 1896 that actually launched in the Gloucestershire town of Dursley in 1890. John Eleni of Passaic, New Jersey owns a 1907 Dursley Pedersen. I had been looking for one ever since I saw a picture in a magazine of one and then researched it. Uh, an entire collection came up for sale and a good friend of mine uh, bought that whole collection and it wasn't still for sale but I was able to trade him uh, uh, some really really nice bicycles for it. The bike needed work. It was in rideable shape when I bought it. I had to rebuild the wheels. I had to do a lot of things to it. Um, but it was all there. Um, and in really, really rare bicycles, that's a key, let me tell you. Um, if you're missing components like that rear hub or if it's broken, you're on a long, long road. Dursley Pedersons were custom made. Because of the hammock seating, had to be sized to the rider. So you went to the dealer, they fit you to a bicycle, meaning they took your measurements and then uh, custom crafted a bicycle for you. Dursley Pedersen models were expensive, are rare today, and have various unusual features. You have the, the truss fork, that's their own design, uh, the flexible frame tubes, uh, the hammock seating again, their own design rear hub, Three speed in, two, in uh, 1907, that was a huge innovation. They also foretold the future. The riding position is a little uh, on the modern side where you're stretched out and tucked down. Most in that period, most bicycles, you were still riding very, very upright. That's Ride Connecticut. I'm Bud Wilkinson. And once again, don't hesitate to click and subscribe to Ride Connecticut's YouTube channel.